Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're, we're gonna paint this French Provincial Saltwood Buffet. And the reason why I'm, I'm saying buffet because of the top. You see, it has uh, the silverware kind of placement for it, and it has a beautiful fabric on the edges or inside the doors. So first thing I did is removed everything, the hardware, the top part for the silverware, the little extra pieces that were supporting the middle part, and I start sanding using 180 grit sandpaper. So I just wanted to get rid of the old finish so I can have a nice smooth finish to paint this piece. Of course, I was a little bit trying to clean or sand all the edges on the top part. For this project, we're going to use three different colors with the lavender transfer and some mold. But first, I have to create my mold for the inside of the doors. I'm using the Sicilian Borders by Redesign with Prima to create this beautiful design for the inside of the doors. But first, let's glue them. If you notice, the mold has three different colors. The clear one, which is the epoxy one, you know the one dries on 24 hours because I was out of the amazing resin, so uh, I created a lot of molds. That's why I was out. And for the last piece I created, I used it. I used the epoxy. But for the design and curves, of course, we can't use the amazing resin because it will dry within 10 minutes. But I'm going to use the molding material by Prima. It feels like Play-Doh. All you have to do is place it in your mold, cut the excess or all the extra. Look at it. It will be very soft. So I will I like I recommend you you try to be very gentle when you use it. I'm just gonna tape it in place. I use E6000 glue to tape to place that. The thing I notice is after drying, it start cracking, and I all I had to do is to kind of fill it out with the same molding materials. So if you notice the one on the curve it was fresh, but the one on top it was old. So you see it's gonna shrink a little bit. All that cracks, I covered it with the same product. And of course I'm gonna clean all that glue and I'm gonna, you know, add more on the like the edges. If I see there's a gap a little bit, like I can't place or I can't put any mold in it. So I can cover all that up and, and have a nice smooth uh, mold. So all I have to do is just let it dry and the next day I'm gonna paint it. After I was done with all the molding, I started painting the piece using three different shades of purple. Look at this beautiful color. Of course, for this project, I did not prime my piece and I was hoping that it will not bleed through my paint, but let's give it a try. This is only my first coat, so I wanted, I wanted the first coat to be soft and it will dry fast, of course, if it's thin. I don't want like a thick layer. After the first layer was dry, I'm gonna add my metal color, which is, sorry, my second color on the metal part. I just wanted to add a little bit, like a design, because I want to use the transfer on the doors. I'm sure you can imagine the style that I was looking for. keep doing the dabbing technique to get the nice result. If you like any of these colors, you can check the description box, you will find a link to it. Of course, it's time to paint inside the doors. I was very careful with the mold and guess what? One of the small piece I added to the mold fell out. But I want you to know that I glued that bag. I didn't really take a picture with it or a video. This is only my first coat. As you can see, it was kind of not really good. So now it's for the second coat. And it will look better, nicer, thicker, and you won't even see the wood color, the brown one. You won't see it. Love 
the texture you can get from this technique. As I said, I wanted to cover them with the transfer. This transfer is a lavender transfer. It is gorgeous. Look at all these details. All you have to do is just peel the back, stick it to your piece. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm using gold wax with a wax brush for the details. All I wanted to do is just give it a little bit of gold so I can see the details more. For the top, I'm gonna go with the white flash. So I applied my white paint, very thin layer, and I applied some water on top of it, let it soak a little bit, then wipe it down. You're gonna get very soft white wash on the top or on the wood. I actually didn't really like the gold wax, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cover that with a metallic sheen acrylic paint by Prima, uh, the champagne color. This is the final result. I really hope you like the video and enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.